Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen. It is always difficult to have a presentation which is coming after so gratefully presented case studies, uh, but I will try my best. The task will be similar difficulties like Dr. Zeiler had today. I have to present uh, something which is, uh, let's say, more will be done through the words, not to the slides, not to case examples, but I'll do my best. And I will do this task on behalf of the EIH president, uh, Dr. Willy Struckmeier from Germany, uh, who, let's say, approved our presentation here, and also Dr. Peter Milanovic, who is currently absent uh, because of the official trip. But I think I will, can do it because my experience in this organization is now I accounted it's a one quarter century. So I hope I can do this task. The International Association of Hydrogeologists uh, is the, the largest and in fact the single one uh, organization that collecting the hydrogeologists from the world. I just compared today the, uh, the data which we heard from our colleagues from uh, EWA we are, in fact, as a EIH, we are half of e, uh, IWA. We are about 4,000 members from a uh, hundred similar number of the country. So 30, 135, even we have three countries more on our side. I can say our side because I feel personally as a hydrogeologist, but of course water is the, is the common. And uh, in the EWA, we have also a large number of the hydrogeologists, of course, which are also participating in this conference, but equally in our organization, we have a large number of the managers, directors, uh, and other professionals, of course, hydrologists, uh, engineers, and so, who are also uh, improving and uh, doing the, their best for uh, the, our common task. The EIH is, in fact, non-governmental organization. It is supported by the, in fact, governments, uh, but in fact, depending on the individual membership as well of the national chapters, which not all countries have the national chapters, is depending on the number and activities of the, of the local hydrogeology society. But in fact, more or less, it is linked with the many activities of the international organization and the national uh, to, uh, as well. Uh, the next... Uh, Congress, which is going every four years, will be in uh, Canada. And uh, this is the, in fact, as I already said, multidisciplinary organization with the five main tasks in their uh, curriculum. This is the publish, promote, encourage, sponsor, and cooperate. To publish what? To publish the main journal uh, our, of our association, it's Hydrogeology Journal. Uh, it's a uh, also book series, then electronic and printed newsletters and other uh, publications. Promoting cooperation, first of all, between hydrogeologists and other specialists in the groundwater, as well to increase the awareness of the, of the public and the decision maker of the importance of the groundwater as the source. Encourage, encourage skills through education and technology transfer program they are specially fund, been allocated with allocated funds to supporting the young scientists, the similar one like we have in IWA. Sponsor is of the many of the international events, including these congresses and the symposiums, and cooperation with the UN agencies and other, uh, which uh, also including non-governmental organization and the other association like I. WA. EIH Council is the main body. It is elected body for every four years. Currently, as I said, the president is from Germany. Always the past president is a member of the council, and we have secretary general and the vice president from the different part of the world. For uh, this part of the world, our colleague from Russia, Igor Sektsar, is, is taking this uh, position. Uh, Organization had a different commission, uh, which are uh, working on the specific issues. 
and uh, also there are working groups. Currently, the most active are five of them. I will present them. One is hydrogeology of the hard rocks. Another is aquifer dynamics and coastal zone management. The next is the groundwater and climate change. Then it's uh, hydrogeology in urban areas. Then hydrogeology of karst. And at the end, managing aquifer chart. I apologize, it's six, not five, because the previous number is much, was much larger. In fact, we had uh, some uh, uh, 14, I think, different commissions. Some of them are under reconstruction and some of them are actively working. I will just very briefly present with a few words the two most, let's say, uh, from my point of view, active at this moment. This is Commission on the Groundwater and Climate Change, which is a very important issue today. And there are plenty of the activities that is ongoing uh, under this commission. And uh, uh, also the members from the EIH took also part in the work of the IPCC. And IPCC also in this last report stated that groundwater is the major source of drinking water across much of the world, but there has been very little research on the potential effects of the climate change. The next is the EIH Commission on the Harz Hydrogeology. Uh, what is specific is that uh, this commission, since uh, its establishment, been always uh, with the active members from Serbia, because it is tradition. Today we heard from our president of the uh, Academy of Science that Jovan Svic is the founder of Karstology, and this is traditionally after him, his school continuously participate in uh, all activities of the Cars Commission. So, uh, Cars Commission had also uh, recently, let's say, in, uh, in the 2005, a large symposium that had been held in our country. And also, one of the tasks of this commission is to make promotion and uh, publicly uh, pr promote the results and achievements and also the task of the which we have to fight in a karstic environment. I will back to uh, some of the publication. Hydrogeology Journal uh, started to be published in uh, 1992, and it is one of the SEI-listed uh, journal, of course, with a, a, a large number of the very high-quality scientific contribution from hydrogeology, but not only. It is also groundwater quality, uh, other discipline, disciplines, and also below some of this part is shared with the history of the hydrogeology and biographies of eminent, eminent hydrogeologists. One of them is also Professor Racy, which has been recently published article about his work and his contribution to development of hydrogeology in Iran. EH books are specific uh, edition. Uh, the Selected papers on hydrogeology is, in fact, the proceedings and especially the best papers from the conferences then that are dedicated to the, to the hydrogeology. And another is the addition of the international contribution to hydrogeology. Most of us uh, will learn a lot about the hydrogeology uh, just from these books. And this is really... That was the one of the major tasks of, the, of the, our association. And the number of the, those publications uh, reached 26. And, and I just have a, a pointed few of them, how are they are important. For example, impact of agricultural activities of groundwater, or the first one, hydrogeology of karst terrains, or hydrogeology of selected uh, Karst region or hydrogeothermics, and so this is the book, in fact, that collecting the knowledge of the best hydrogeologists worldwide, and it is really good guidance for everybody who is interesting or want to learn more from our science. Selected papers are from the conferences, and also we publish the news and information every month. In fact, it's coming uh, uh, with, a, with a journal, uh, sorry, six times per year. Same with the journal, and always you have the list of the conferences, an invitation, and some analysis of the actualities in the hydrogeology world. Association is held in uh, 1956, uh, and it is after that 
it is, became one of the major partner of UNESCO and the UN organization. And there are plenty of the projects that are ongoing under involvement of the experts from EIH. Uh, one of them is the first draft of the World Groundwater Resources Map. This uh, map is in fact uh, uh, EIH participate in and it is uh, done work mostly by the Federal Institute of Geosciences and Natural Resources from Hanover, but with the active participation of the hydrogeologists worldwide. In fact, they've been engaged either as individual expert or through the national committees for each of the national chapters. Key ideas of such a map, somebody is saying what you can read from the hydrogeology map of the world. Of course, you cannot read any details, you cannot make any detailed study from this map, but you can get general information about the distribution of the main groundwater system and then, of course, digging deeper for getting more information. Uh, in a parallel, the many hydrogeological maps of the continents and, of course, individual countries have been uh, printed out and so all collecting all this information, we reach this, let's say, level that we can publish such documents as a groundwater resources map. Uh, this is the network of the many organizations worldwide. One of them is including the, our uh, EIH. And uh, the, this map is, of course, is, is, uh, is drawn and, and, and is built in a GIS system with uh, several steps and the number of the layers which are in a larger scale and somehow can uh, be a guide for some a general regional study of the groundwater. Uh, there are also some kind of the guide which is following this uh, map and then one of the uh, large tasks of the association with also involvement in the preparation of the global map of the transboundary aquifer system, as we all know, uh, and today we also heard about that uh, recently international law of, on uh, transboundary aquifers been uh, drafted in the United Nations and passing through uh, Security Council as a kind of resolution. And the base for this is, in fact, a document such as groundwater resources and transboundary aquifer system that have been identified through the work of the hydrogeologists from uh, different countries. So that will be more or less everything for the moment. And thank you for your attention.